find everything quiet and peaceful once more. Mr. Ace is getting ready to leave for the office amid an atmosphere of serene tranquility. Listen. I will not. I will not give that maid another cent. A fine time she takes to ask for a raise. Here, not so loud. She'll hear you. I don't care if she does, and I want you to hear me. Hear you? That's what I talk to you about. Well, you have, and I said no. What do you think I am? I don't throw my money around like a drunken sailor. Thirty dollars a month? What? Well, sailor, you said. Don't they get $30? Look, Jane, I haven't got time to go into that with you now. I'm late. I've got to get to the office to try to make a living. I've let my business run by itself long enough on account of all this mess we just got ourselves into. And now that that's over, I'm not going to start things off by passing out raises to Laura. Not today, I'm not. But today is her anniversary. Anniversary? What's going on here? She's married? Laura? Oh. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, huh? dear, you're so responsive. Um, you did say anniversary. <laughs> yes, he started to work here a year ago today. Oh, a year ago today. To the penny. Oh. We figured it up. She started out at eight dollars a week in car for her, and then I gave her ten dollars. And now she wants twelve. Well, there's nothing doing. Not right now. But she said she'd quit if we didn't give it to her. Okay, that's too bad. I suppose you couldn't find anybody else to replace her. I suppose she's so marvelous. Well, she does what I tell her. Well, you can tell somebody else. She wants to quit. She's not so hot, if you ask me. Oh, dear, do you want her to hear you? If you're going to say things about her, can't you say it quietly? She's not so hot, if you ask me. Well, that's better. I know she's not as smart as she could be, but she is kind of G-U-M. I'll say she's G-U-M. I've got to get going, Jane. Where's Marge? Marge, you ready? Tell her I went to get the car. I'll meet her out in front. But, dear, what am I going to do about Laura? I can't let her quit. She won't quit. She's just bluffing you. What do you mean, bluffing? Don't worry about it. I'll see you at dinner. But, dear, you can't go away without telling me if you're going... Oh, darn. Is that Ace calling me? Yes, he just went to get the car. <clears throat> What's the matter now? Why do you look so glum? Now, don't start saying I'm dumb. I just had that argument about Laura. I said glum. <laughs> and what was the argument about Laura? She wants a raise. Hey, who doesn't? That's not the question. The question is she does. And he won't let me give it to her. What am I going to do, Marge? How much of a raise does she want? Only $2. She wants 12 a week, huh? Yes, and she says if we won't give it to her, she's going to quit. Quit? Laura? Yeah. He's just bluffing. Oh, you heard him say that. <laughs> no, I didn't. But Laura won't quit. Why, if I remember correctly, she volunteered to work here for nothing at one time when Ace lost his money, remember? You didn't pay her anything. Yes, but she wouldn't work that cheap now. She felt sorry for us, and we didn't have to pay her anything for the longest time, just her car fare and meals. But now... Well, that kind of proves she wouldn't quit for over a $2 raise, doesn't it? But she told me herself that if we didn't give her a raise, she'd quit. Well, you just call her bluff and see what happens. That's right. Call her bluff. Tell her to go ahead and quit if she wants to. Well, she wants to, but I don't want her to. That's just it, Jane. She won't quit. You just call her bluff. I won't call her anything. This is no time to start calling names. It's bad enough as it is. Oh, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Well, I wish you'd explain it in words of one cylinder. What are you trying to say? What do you mean, call her a bluff? Not a bluff. I mean, if she says she's going to quit, you say. Well, Laura, if that's your attitude, we'll just have to let you go. And then you watch and see if she doesn't say she'll stay at the same salary. She will? I know Laura, she will. But suppose she double turns me and goes. <laughs> she won't. <laughs> you sure? Absolutely. You try it on her, but make it sound like you really mean to let her go. Say, I'll tell you what. what. You could even telephone the paper and insert an ad for a girl. Telephone the paper? Now, actually, keep your finger on the hook. Dial a number and keep your finger on the hook so it'll look as if you're really calling up with a want ad for a girl to take her place. Oh, that's cute. Keep my finger on the hook and make her believe I am. That's it. And just watch her change her mind about leaving. All right. What was that you said again? Just watch her change her mind about leaving. No, before that. Uh, what I say to her when she says she's going to quit. Oh. Well, you say, uh, Laura, if that's your attitude, you just have to quit. Laura, if that's your... Oh, there's a talking for me. i got to beat it. Oh, no, wait a minute. See if I got it right. Oh, you'll come out all right, Jane. I'm making a slave. But uh, are you sure it'll work out like you said? Absolutely, Jane. I'll be at dinner. Well, if it doesn't work out, there won't be any dinner. Oh, let me see. Laura, if you want to quit, you can. No, no. Uh, how is that together? Laura, if that's the way you want to act. Oh, and now I got it. Laura, if that's going to be your... Did you call me, Nim? Yes.
Yes, I was just going to ask you if you want. How did you hear me? I thought I heard somebody calling me. No, I was just going to, though. Um, come in, Laura. Yes, it is. Mrs. H., did you speak to the mister about my raise? Yes, I did, Laura. Oh, that's nice, Min, because I really love working for you and Mr. H. and Miss Marge and everybody. I just told my girlfriend last night, I said, they're the sweetest people I ever worked for. I said, Laura, if that's going to be your attitude, we'll just have to let you go. Min? Oh, wait now, that doesn't come out right. Oh, what did you say? Uh, let's start over. What were you saying, Laura, about a raise, I mean? Oh, yes, a two-dollar raise. Yes. Now, go ahead. What, Min? What else? That's all, Min. I want a two-dollar raise. Or? Go on. Or what, Min? Or what? Didn't you tell me that if we didn't give you the raise, you'd quit? Oh, yes, Min. A two-dollar raise or I'll have to quit, Min. At last. Well, Laura, if that's going to be your attitude, we'll just have to let you go, I guess. You will, ma'am? Yes. Oh, that's too bad, ma'am. I hate to leave people where I've been working so long. Things I do all my friends. Yes, now stop crying, go back to work, and we'll forget all about it. But I'll have to quit by the end of the week, ma'am. Yes, I'll just forget all... What? If I don't get my raise, I'll have to quit. Oh, you will. Well, I guess I'll have to call the paper and put in an ad for another girl, I guess. Uh, where's that phone? Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Shall I look up the number for you, ma'am? No, I know the number. It's the post. Oh, you think I won't call up, huh? Oh, no, ma'am. I don't think you won't call up. Oh, you don't? Well, you'll see. Uh, uh, stand over there, Laura. Where, ma'am? Back of me. Back here? Yes, please. That's it. Now. E. A. Four, O, O, O. There. Are you back there, Laura? Yes, ma'am. Uh, hello. Is this the post? I want to put in an ad for a girl. Wanted a girl to do housework and cooking. 5423 North Avenue. Salary, $8 a week. That's it. Goodbye, then. $8 a week? Yes, that's what I paid you when you first came here. I'll pay her ten after she's been here a while and hangs on to the rope. But eight dollars is awful skimpy wages, ma'am. Well, she gets car fare like you did, and she eats here. Yes, ma'am, but after all, a girl has to put away something for a rainy day. A girl has to save something, and she can't save anything out of eight dollars a week. Laura, I wish you wouldn't start giving my new girl ideas like that. But all girls feel that way, ma'am. Now, you take my girlfriend. She gets fourteen a week. And she saves money every week for sickness and other pleasures. Fourteen a week? Oh, I suppose you want fourteen dollars a week now. Oh, I can get it, ma'am. You can get fourteen dollars a week? Oh, don't make me laugh. I don't mean to, ma'am. But I got a job promised me when I quit here. You got a job? Laura, have you been looking for another job while you were working here? Well, I had to keep thinking about it in case you didn't give me the raise. Oh, so that's what you've been thinking about. No wonder that liver last night tasted so much like liver and no onions. You've been thinking about well, that. I had to, ma'am, ever since Mrs. Van Pelt said she would pay me 14 weeks. Mrs. Van Pelt, who's that? Mrs. Van Pelt, well, she's a lady. She's been begging me to come to work for a man, but... I thought if you'd pay me 12, I'd rather work here for 12. It's like my girlfriend says, you can't make both ends meet on $10 a week. Oh, you and your girlfriend. Yes, ma'am. Well, I guess I'd better call up Mrs. Van Pelt and tell her I'll take the job. Can I use the phone, me? The phone? Oh, well, uh, wait a minute, Laura. Now, let's talk this over. There's no use leaving our head. I'll just call her up, ma'am. Especially since you got another girl advertised. Oh, uh, now wait, Laura, don't call. I have to, ma'am. I promised I'd let her know this morning. She might hire somebody else if I don't call her. Then I wouldn't have any job while we be getting a new girl. But I'm not getting a new girl. Oh, yes, ma'am. Somebody might take it for eight dollars. But you don't understand, Laura. Mrs. Van Pelt's resident? I want to talk to Mrs. Van Pelt. Now, Laura, hang up. Well, tell her this is Laura. I want to talk to her. Laura Maidley. Maidley, is that your last name? Yes, ma'am. Isn't that funny? I never knew your last name. Yes, ma'am. Laura Maidley. I often wondered what it was, but somehow it always slipped off my mind when I want to ask you. Mrs. Van Pelt, this is Laura. I can take that job, son. 
on Monday, Mrs. Vantel. Oh, this isn't working out right at all. Yes, ma'am. Fourteen dollars a week. Thank you, ma'am. I'll see you Monday. Goodbye. Well, now you've done it. You see how dumb you are? You're so hot-headed and repulsive. If you'd only wait till I explained it to you. I didn't call anybody on the phone. I was just calling you a bluff. Well, if you want to give me a two-dollar raise, ma'am. Oh, what good talking about it now? You already told Mrs. Van Pelt. Oh, no, ma'am. I didn't call her. But if you take your finger off the hook, ma'am, I'll take my finger off. What? Yes, ma'am. I do, too. Is that all? Well, Laurel isn't as dumb as she sounds. But uh, what about her race? We take it up in detail when next we meet the Easy Aces.